every now and then we all need a checkup to make sure everything is working as it should. The same goes for banks. Every day, banks all over the country lend to borrowers who range from low to high risk. So how do we ensure this risk is managed and the failure of a bank doesn't bring down the whole financial system? Let's take dairy farmers as an example. We've seen dairy prices fall away in recent years, leaving farmers in tricky situations because their income drops away as well. Farmers with more money in their farms, less debt and deeper pockets can weather the storm better. Banks need to have good lending practices so they can weigh up whether to lend to a customer or not. They need to be sure that their customer has enough money in their farm so that if they got into financial difficulty, that is, the price of milk went down, they would still be okay and it wouldn't put the bank at risk. The work we do with the banks ensures checks are in place, much like a checkup with your local GP. We monitor banks, require them to show us their balance sheet so we can be sure everything's as it should be. We check that banks have good overall health, have adequate and reliable funding, are resilient enough to withstand an event like the global financial crisis in 2008, and have a dashboard that shows all operations are working as they should. New Zealand's banking system has been judged sound by the Reserve Bank and the International Monetary Fund, the global organisation that monitors financial stability.